well, the administration's handling of these scandals has caused controversy on both sides of the aisle. Joining us now for a fair and balanced look, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall and Republican strategist Loretta Lepore. Ladies, welcome. Great to have you here today. Good to be I here. Thank good you. To see you. Leslie, let me begin with you. You know, on one hand, you have Holder under oath saying that he never heard of anyone trying to prosecute the press for publishing material. And on the other side of his mouth, he's accusing reporters of espionage on applications for subpoenas. His statements are hard to reconcile. Do we have a perjury problem here? Uh, well, I'm not sure if we have a perjury problem here. Woof, I don't want to go that far. Uh, but I, I do want to say that uh, even as a Democrat who supports this administration and the attorney general within this administration, uh, that is a hard one to swallow. I'm also a member of the press. I love my Constitution. Um, I make a living, as you do, off my First Amendment right. Uh, at the same time, I am not an expert in national security. And we do have things like the Patriot Act, although we have the Constitution, were in fact uh, laws broken, whether by the attorney general or by any journalist or leaks to any of those journalists. You know, I, as we all do, never will forget watching two towers come down and over 3,000 people uh, die. And we have seen some of the danger with information that has passed on in the past with WikiLeaks as an example from people within our own federal government. Uh, but when the attorney general does say, uh, you know, look, you know, we're just seeking information, there's nothing criminal, and then you hear the word espionage, um, it does start to look like somebody's trying to cover their butt. And um, I need to get more information before I could go as far as talking about perjury. Well, Loretta, uh, you know, NBC News reporting that the Attorney General signed off on a controversial search warrant that identified Fox News reporter James Rosen as a possible co-conspirator and authorized the seizure of private emails. And now the President has asked Holder, as we've been reporting, to lead the investigation to investigate himself. How can anyone take this effort seriously? Well, I don't think that is a very serious um, request. And what the president is doing is is not leading. And unfortunately, we've seen all too much of this from our attorney general. Uh, this has been going on other instances, not even related to this particular instance, where he's been less than forthcoming. Um, he's had misleading statements or been dis disingenuous with the American people and with Congress. Um, there is just absolutely, it's nonsensical to think that he could investigate himself. He clearly doesn't even have the answers that the media are asking of him today and that you so pointed out that NPR asked him the other day. He, there were a lot of I don't knows this week from the Attorney General. You know, and now we have the Huffington Post and the Washington Post calling for Holder to go, liberal entities to be sure, and the longer this goes on, what impact do you think this is going to have on the Justice Department's credibility, Leslie? Well, first of all, you know, I'm one of those liberals, not saying he should go, but he definitely should recuse himself and he should not be the one investigating uh, the situation within the Department of Justice that he heads up and, uh, quite frankly, an investigation even to the Attorney General's action. Um, there needs to be, and I don't want to necessarily say a special uh, prosecutor, but certainly somebody who was independent and would not be Attorney General Holder. Um, I, get really, I get really leery when it happens on either side, even when I'm on one of those sides being a liberal, uh, when somebody, you know, asks for somebody's head on the platter, and I say, you know, hold that blade on the guillotine first. I, I, you know, we do have a presumption of innocence in this country, even when you're the Attorney General of the United States. And we need to get the information, but I don't think Eric Holder should be the one investigating Eric Holder. I do agree with everybody on that left and right. But, but to, you know, say, get rid of him, no, that, that knee-jerk reaction is a problem, in my opinion, in America, well, in look, all facets of Let me of ask you, life. Loretta, do you think it's a knee-jerk reaction to say that he should go? I don't think it's a knee-jerk reaction whatsoever. Um, I would have to disagree with Leslie on that point. The Attorney General has had this sort of conduct um, over time, this, this, this predates this particular incidence with the media. And it's not just Fox News. He, it, it, there was an overreach of government and the AG and the Justice Department with the Associated Press as well. Neither of these incidents have been handled very well. Um, the president continues to be very loyal to Mr. Holder, but Mr. Holder is not being particularly useful to the president. And I do think that there should be serious consideration as to whether he needs to be in that job and continue to be in that job, um, or if we need to bring somebody else into the role that can continue to keep the American public safe and continue to execute upon the role of the Justice Department and all of the security agencies. All right, Moving ladies, uh, thank you very much for joining us with your perspective. Obviously, thank a story you. we're going to be watching very closely. Thank you.